Hello guys, welcome to the lab text. My name is Nasser and today I have a case study of uh, uh, Clevo motherboard and uh, this is the first generation and uh, the part number is 6-711-E5-Q0-D02A.GP so big name so what is the scenario let's find out as soon as I inject it seems it's in the good condition now let me turn on so here is the on off switch not turning on yes it's turning on but 138 as you can see here uh, milli ampere and stock up so uh, I haven't seen a uh, schematic as of now and uh, let's try to find out as we usually do so in between there is no ground so that is why you have to hold on your multimeter negative prop and keep on searching what we are getting here 5 volt 3 volt since it is a logic multimeter so in this side frequency okay this side frequency we are getting now uh, what's rest here is 0 point frequency maybe yes 1.5 volt it's uh, too much confusion that uh, if you have logical multimeter so in the art where the capacitor is located there you have to check so it's better to check on this point you check on the capacitor also 1.5 is available core no core voltage what is this maybe gfx voltage okay and uh, one here here we are not getting anything so where is the 1.05 5 volt 3 volt 1.5 volt core and gfx and uh, this is the charging so maybe 1.045 uh, this one so in this way pl7 i have to see so let's come and find the schematic so write the part number six sometime not same you will get six hyphen seven one hyphen e five one q zero so many we have so let's open hyphen d uh, zero two a yes all are same i think just open it now what we have to search what is this i have to just search uh, this one just because uh, pl7 has no voltage what is this pl7 pl7 and uh, this is the 1.1 volt this is for the pch and this is what is missing on our board and uh, let's find out that uh, pl7 uh, is generated by pu5 and pu5 uh, needs enabling signal high logic on the 12 number pin is that all right this is the high logic so high 3 volt around we will get on this 12 number pin so now let's come and check pu5 this side pu5 no this side here pu3 pu5 so here is the pu5 
5. And what we have to check here? 12 number pin. So let's check 12 number pin. It is uh, still on. So we need not to do anything. Let me just clear a little bit. Yes. Here, 4, 8, 12. We are getting nothing. Okay. We are getting nothing on the pin number 12. So let's copy this uh, enable signal. Where is it coming from? The underscore R I am not copying because it will race to the uh, through the R which uh, this uh, signal will come across after this register paste. So here is the sequence maybe after after 1.8 volt VS power good we will get enable signal maybe. So let's find out here is the logic and very good logic and gate and gate uh, there are the so many AND gates. Through the AND gates, we will get the enable signal and system power OK at, at last. OK, so power OK, all system power good. So system power OK, we will get at last after crossing these things. What is this UA8 or U8A, U8A. I think uh, this particular model has no board view. So you have to manage by yourself. So this is the U8. Okay. This is the U8. And the uh, name of the IC is something LCX08. So, so this is the uh, logic IC. And uh, how you have to uh, figure out, let me uh, show you like this. Okay. Sorry. Sorry guys. Okay, see here. Pin number one and pin number two. Pin number one and pin number two. Where is the marker? Here. Pin number one and pin number two. When we will get this voltage, then a this is the A, this is the B, A into B is equal to Y. This is the Y. This is the logic you know very well. A into B is equal to Y. If this is high, this is high is equal to high voltage. You will get on this point. Now, uh, pin number one and pin number two, let's check this one. Okay. Let's check this one. Pin number one. We have 3.2 volt. Pin number two, we have 3.3 .3 volt. Then, of course, we will uh, get 3.3 volt. If we don't have 3.3 volt on this pin, maybe this IC could be faulty or V voltage. We need to check 3.3 volt on the 50, uh, 40 number pin. Okay, so three number pin must have high logic. Three number pin. So it is absolutely fine. This is absolutely fine. So now, pin number, this three uh, number pin uh, is input for the uh, U8B five number pin. Okay, so five number, definitely we will be getting voltage and four number we need to check. So four number and five number, let's check four number and five number. One, two, three, four, four, Four number pin, one, two, three, four number pin. We are getting nothing. And five number, definitely we will be getting because we are getting on the pin number three. Yes. So we cannot get uh, output on the pin number six. Now let's check six. So five and six. So six, how can we get six number pin voltage if you have no voltage on this point? So one. 0.8 volt VS power good is missing. So let's copy this one. Okay, let me bring it here. And uh, let's copy it. And paste here.
nowhere. Sorry, this one. Paste. Four number was missing. That is why I need to check this voltage. So PU7. PU7 is the 1.8 volt VS. If this voltage will generate 1.8 volt VS perfectly, then power good, of course, will come out from this IC and will go into the logic. Then the logic will work. And then this IC 1.1 volt VTT voltage will be enabled. Now I need to check PU7. So the tough job is to find PU9, PU4, PU4, yes, PU7, PU7, yes, we have got here. Now, this is the PU7. And uh, what is written on this? I will not turn off. Okay. Find out. Uh, how many things we are required here? We are required an evil signal. And also, we need to check out. So, on the pin number 8 of this IC, we need enable signal for 1.8 generation. So, let's come and check pin number 8. So, here is the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5 volt is coming. Maybe it will be 5 volt for enabling. This is the Clevo. Anything could happen in this. Uh, I think uh, when I uploaded the same video on the YouTube that was uh, switching logic uh, manageable work, how you have to do also, I told you how you have to find shorting in the Clevo motherboard, not only Clevo, in every motherboard you can apply that logic. Okay. So, 8 number has 5 volt enable. So, it is also written here. 5 volt enable is coming uh, to be enable for this IC. And IC name is AX6610. I hardly have ever seen in my life this IC. Okay. 3 and 4 number pin, you have to check. Okay. You have to check 3 number and 4 number. What 1.8 volt are you getting? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1.2 volt. We are getting 1.2 volt. Maybe short wherever it is going or maybe IC is faulty. First of all, what we will do, since enable is perfect, feedback might be uh, having problem or maybe this IC is faulty. Due to that, we are not getting proper voltage. Also, the feedback is essential for this. 1K, uh, 1.2K against 1K is required to be feedback of this IC. So, it seems that the uh, board is very clean and uh, hopefully no physical we will get on, on the motherboard. So, feedback pin is on the pin number 2. It is connected with the pin number 2. Here is the feedback register. You can see here. Okay. Now I'm going to remove power from the board and uh, casually I will check that uh, both will show me one kilo ohm around. Now let's check. It is 500 ohm, 500, 600 ohm and uh, this is also around 600 ohm. So maybe this is good. Let me clean something uh, I am getting on the register. Maybe that is the burning mark or what? Uh, feedback resistance value, exact value you can figure out after removing uh, the register from the board. Okay, maybe it's good. Okay, so let it be there. Now, I am going to replace this IC just because this IC is not uh, giving proper voltage as much it is written here 1.8 volt then it will release power okay then it will it become you can call it it become the open dra uh, drain 
and you will get the pull up voltage on this pin now the gate is grounded and if you pull up or forcibly you try to pull up so the voltage will be short so in this case what you have to do you have to fulfill its requirement 1.8 volt bsc is need to be generated here we are getting 1.2 volt around so in this situation what type of ic we can use here that the question arises here that what type of uh, ic we can use here so this is my experience that uh, eight number enable pin i have seen in the vegas motherboard okay the dell vegas motherboard we have seen so let's find the dell vegas board so here is the dell vegas board and uh, here see uh, 1.8 1d8v 54 number page 54 number page and see this is the apl5930 this is the very common ic for the ddr voltage vpp voltage that is uh, uh, known as the 2.5 volt in the ddr4 and also this ic is used for 1.8 volt generation because of this feedback okay so one more ic would be located in the same board so two ic are used apl5930 uh, so enable num enable is eight number pin also match it that uh, power okay is on the pin number seven power okay is pin number seven feedback pin number two feedback pin number two and the most important thing is here the ground the ground is pin number one you have to check and confirm ground must be on the pin number one so we can use apl5930 instead of whatever ic is this okay so now let me yes i have this vegas motherboard and uh, you can see here uh, this is the vegas motherboard dell vegas okay and here you will find apl ic and uh, this is the non pwm regulator and you have to take part from here this is the pin number one okay so let's take part from the board now we have to remove this one so let's apply some paste on the ic and uh, heat up so this is the very uh, easy case study however nothing is easy and tough whatever you know the logic uh, if you apply if you uh, are able to apply it so nothing is tough so apl5930 i am going to place so now it is set perfectly clean it APL5930 you have to remember if uh, any new type of IC you see you have to match uh, at least three things one is the ground enable pin and out pin and also one more feed, feedback pin rest uh, you can also uh, compare the data sheet that is a better option now I'm going to power and I will check what voltage I am getting here so let me inject voltage and i will check the voltage what voltage i am getting on the pin number four now i have to turn on this is the very herculean task yes yes it is i think turned on 
then restarted yes now you can see ampere and you can figure out that it is done without saying anything without any comment 1.8 volt as soon as you started getting it will release uh, from seven number uh, four five six seven number power grid and this power grid is going on the this logic gate the four number we were not getting voltage one two three four now this time okay it is off because hitsing is not available i have received motherboard only so no longer i would be able to check okay so here uh, four number one two three four number as i am using it it is going to turn off third number one two three four again no i will not check this and I, instead of that i will check unable of this point now come on and check the number 12 again now i will turn on like this way okay three volt i am getting on this point the same way i have to the problem here is that i cannot hold the uh, my multimeter like this way on the ground because in between there is no ground so maybe you have to be cautious if you are new in the laptop repairing so maybe that uh, you will not get even 19 volt in in the in this condition why because this is not ground you have to hold the this golden area and then you will get ground or you just hold like this way uh, on the uh, usb pin then you will be able to get gr a proper ground and uh, you would be able to check the signal so hopefully guys this was the a very normal case study and uh, if you like this video and maybe this video will be helpful for you uh, then you must comment and like on on the comment box if you are interested in the laptop repairing training so you can uh, whatsapp on the given number because uh, if you call uh, we are busy like right now my uh, mobile is switched off because uh, I, I i get trouble uh, at the time when i am making video so i cannot pick up calls so guys uh, let's see in the next case study thank you thank you for watching this video